I will present you uh, one of my side projects. So it's my last one, uh, the 3D multiplayer real-time strategy game. So I started uh, it uh, three weeks ago. And uh, that's it. So uh, the presentation is quite uh, crap. But, uh, that's and so my present side project, so I will present you the, the games I made before. So uh, this one, uh, first one, Dungeon Quest, not really the role-play game. Uh, it has like 150 downloads a day uh, without any promotion, so it's cool for me. <laughs> 20k downloads, uh, 3.9 out of 5 stars on the Google Play, and there's uh, cool music, because it's mine. <laughs> so yeah, it's an RPG game. Okay, uh, second one is Warlords Online. Oh. Online is an online multiplayer turn based strategy game. So it's the same, uh, 20k downloads, 104, but this one a very good reviews, 4.3 out of 5, out of uh, like more than 100 reviews, so I'm quite uh, happy because uh, I'm doing it like a uh, side project, so uh, the code is uh, shit, so it's like uh, quick and dirty, so there's bugs everywhere, but uh, guys are happy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so now the top players that play more than 500 games, excluding offline ones, because I had some guys ask me, uh, if you do offline version so they can play the shoot, so it is. And so more than 500 games, just imagine, uh, it's turn fast strategy games, so the turn is, uh, can last more than one day, and, uh, as long as uh, the other player can uh, play. So it's quite long, 500 games, and like, wow, oh, my game again is here. Yeah, <laughs> you're wasting your time. And that's good music too. Uh, so why this new project? So turn fast games are great, I like it. I prefer that uh, real-time strategy is what uh, the guys want. Uh, learning 3D stuff is cool because uh, canvas, 2D canvas, like maybe two photos game, it's fun. But uh, if I want to go in another dimension, ah, it's the joke. Yeah. Okay. Quite, <laughs> <laughs> quite challenging because challenge uh, is cool. And what are the nine reviews on players' mails give me motivation because motivation is the key point of. Uh, uh, so like demo time, finally. Um, so let's go. So I will um, run the server. It's running. Uh, oh shit. Ah, okay. <laughs> Finding because the past finding is the best part in the in any uh, strategy. 
again because they use Jackson's algorithm. Sorry? Jackson's algorithm. I don't know, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you can see uh, the past five minutes is working good. Oh yeah, we're uh, over the trees. Woo! <laughs> going everywhere, it's cool, it's so fun. Uh, let's attack the enemies. And uh, so uh, that, uh, I will uh, just build oh, another stuff there just to show you. Oh, wow! Oh, it's a good thing. Okay, cool. So that's it for the, the main stuff. Oh, yeah, just last thing. Uh, I was playing uh, Warcraft 3 online with some pop guys. And uh, oh, my, my connection has, is broken. I can't, I'm not connected to internet anymore. Oh. Press F5. It's better than Warcraft 3. Oh. oh, the game is still here. Oh, it's magic. And uh, the game is not waiting for me. I can even go uh, to a lunch and uh, took my phone and uh, grab some gold mine uh, during my lunch and then you come back. Oh, you can come back anytime. That's cool, but the game is still running. That's cool. Okay. So that was the main part. Woo! So, uh, we are. So, first thing, uh, the cloud uh, on the server, the little guy uh, green, in green sent to so it's, it's the client. So, what, what I did, uh, there's a no some server there running with uh, Node.js, it's all in JavaScript. So, uh, Node.js, MongoDB for the database for if we want to save the games and come back later, etc. Uh, so this is the client, HTML5, so just for the UI uh, stuff, uh, CSS3 and all that. WebGL uh, using uh, 3GS, so it's a library. I, I did not know anything about 3D uh, two weeks ago. 3GS is quite cool. Uh, to, to, uh, it's quite uh, interesting and uh, it's easy. Uh, so you've got here the input, so the, it can be mouse, keyboard, the touch screen, banana, brain, and uh, three little points. It can be anything. So uh, you ask for the client, say, okay, I want to do that. Bim, I send or some orders. I'm only sending orders to the server. So for example, oh, you guys uh, grab some trees and uh, gather some resources uh, using socket IO. And uh, then uh, the awesome server is running the game uh, with the game engine. So it's all it's in the, the cloud too, with the data. And uh, so it's running the game loop uh, on the server. And then uh, each time uh, the, the loop is, uh, is completed, uh, they are sending uh, back to the client to, uh, the changes in the game data, for example, oh, you, you have moved from this position to this position, up, oh, go there. And so it's, uh, it's cool. Uh, what is cool with, so the game engine and the, da the, the data, what is uh, fun is that uh, it's very, uh, it's um, standalone, like, uh, I, I'm uh, downloading it uh, on the client too, so I can play offline because uh, instead of going to the server, oh, I don't have internet, okay, I want to play offline. I'm, I'm going directly to the game engine, I'll uh, forget that, and uh, then uh, it's cool. So I don't have to, to uh, write a code for offline game, online game, and uh, all that. I'm using the same code, uh, game engine. When I want to add some stuff, I will have the data, so it's following JSON, so it's quite uh, read, human readable. Uh, you want to add uh, a resource uh, with three, three lines, uh, resource, image, uh, ID, that's it. And uh, I want to add a uh, new, new, new unit or uh, anything, bam, that's the same. And uh, I think that's it. <laughs> and uh, thanks for listening. <laughs>
Um, are you using test-driven development? And, and how did you get so much done in so little time? Yeah, and uh, with the work, with the job at Orange Lab. Uh... <laughs> is it, it test-driven development? That it's well commented. I prefer to comment well everything. Than, uh... And then uh, my, my uh, main uh, goal is to uh, publish the engine and all that. Uh, on a public, uh, I've already done it, but on a public uh, GitHub, you know, to make it uh, open source and so that some guys uh, can uh, help me for the AI or you know, stuff like that. It can be cool. Well, yeah, okay. Uh, just, uh, you know, the Pathfinder that you've got on yeah. the system, are you using any sort of um, algorithm for like, like machine learning to find the short path or anything like that? So let's look at the Pathfinder, so it's only a server side. So, uh, using some Amazon server with AppFog, I don't know if you know, you know that, it's free, it's free. And uh, so, uh, it's all on the server. Uh, I, I, the device was a uh, A star algorithm, normal one, and then uh, I, uh, it wasn't so twisted A star, like uh, I'm, I'm getting uh, five, uh, five points uh, in, uh, after the, the guys. And then uh, I stop it. You know. So it's not the perfect one, but it's running fast because when you have like uh, 20 units, uh, you have to each each game loop you have to search again. So there are many yeah. there are many uh, ways to do it. I'm not an expert at all. I think if I want to uh, to make a good pathfinding, it will uh, take me one year or maybe more, and uh, I will do the machine. But uh, so uh, this one is working well. It's not uh, consuming too much memory, so it's good for me. And um, just, can I ask you something? Yeah, just. Um, right, I know that you're using Node.js, like you know, JavaScript on the server side. Why did you make that decision? Why would you use any um, other language? Or is there a particular the first uh, thing is that it's uh, very fast to write a JavaScript. I come from a Java environment, and I, okay, it's cool, but uh, you know, set up a spring and uh, all that, it takes a lot of time. Uh, with Node.js, uh, in 30 minutes you have the new web server, uh, web service, and it's easy. Uh, to the second thing is the, the, the socket IO stuff I wanted to use, I didn't know that before. So, and uh, I had already used it for the World of the Online server, it was working well. And the uh, last thing is that uh, I will develop everything in uh, the JavaScript, the engine, uh, the data I'm using, so I can. Uh, uh, if I want to do an AI, uh, I can do an AI for the server plus for the plus for the, the client. You know. So, for example, for World Online, uh, it was uh, not JS, and that it was an Android game, so I developed it in Java. But uh, the guy wanted to have an offline mode. I had to take all my JavaScript code and translate it into Java, and there was bugs everywhere, and there was this stuff. And it takes me uh, like uh, eight hours of hard working and to do, to do stuff I had already done before. So uh, if I want to uh, develop some more stuff on the right, I have to do the same on the left, etc. So it takes me a lot of time. With that, uh, um, my engine, I will modify it, it will modify everything on the client on the server. The data is the same, everything is uh, synchronized. Yeah. You, you mentioned some other things you worked on before. You had some success with distributing those get down. Um, what was your sort of model for doing that? Did you, were they, did you charge for those or were they just freely distributable? And you talked about promotion as well, you said that. Yeah. And it talked about maybe how you promote your uh, Right now it was just a project like that, you know, two weeks ago. I don't know, I want to do something bigger, a boulder and a marble. <laughs> and so, probably <laughs> good. And uh, so I decided to do, go on this, uh, this project without knowing anything. It's working quite well. Let's see. And uh, then uh, I don't know. I had uh, some guys wanting to join, and etc. Yeah, why not? It's cool. It's cool to do some good stuff. There is something clever that he really did. And um, for his first game, Dungeon Quest, there was another game called Dungeon Quest coming. No. In fact, I wanted uh, on Google Play the main thing is the keywords and Dungeon and Quest. It's a very bad name, but uh, Dungeon and Quest is the main uh, um, keywords and search on the, the engine. How do you so, find out which were the top keywords? Well, I don't know, but I'm, I'm, uh, I like uh, RPGs and all that, so first thing was uh, Dungeon, Quest, just Dungeon and <laughs> <the> Quest. <laughs> and so, um, 
But uh, yeah, when I when I started uh, developing it, uh, when I released it, I was the first one to, put, uh, to have a game called Dungeon Quest, and now we are four, and there's one uh, one million plus downloads. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Um, what format are your 3D models in? Did you have any problems getting them to work with animation? I have a lot of problems. I told you the textures or well, or just the uh, blue stuff, uh, the, the green stuff, etc. Because. Uh, First, at first, I don't know anything about the Blender and this software is just a uh, hell for me. And <laughs> second thing, uh, nobody wants to make me great models because I'm uh, I don't know, a social. <laughs> and uh, third thing, it's uh, stuff I find in uh, open game art, you know, uh, some open stuff. But uh, it's hard to get something uh, cool and I cannot modify it, so I have to get, to, to get something uh, not so heavy, etc. So that's it. And uh, yeah, and with 3 I had some problem uh, with the texture, te the textures. So I have to solve it. Uh, yeah, to solve it. Cool. Yeah, I got one last question. Have you tested it on the mobile phone? Because 3 does uh, work. Uh, Blackberry, Tizen, um, yeah, Firefox, uh, uh, Android Chrome, it works on that as well. Uh, the next step, yeah, maybe on the Uh, the thing is to keep on because uh, the mouse is cool. And uh, yeah, touch it. will be my first uh, when I started the project. I wanted to do a game that you can play uh, as your, your game, you know, like uh, Android versus, uh, versus uh, PC. Yeah.